Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So your energy is Death card, Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. High Priestess, your person's energy is Five of Cups, Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Meeting Energy is Six of Swords, The Fool, The Magician, Page of Wands, Our Focus, The Emperor, Bottom of the Deck, Temperance, Major Arcana, your person might ask you guys to work things out. It's like they want to put the effort in favor of the connection, but they were not able to do that before. You can be aware of that, well aware of that. That's why the temperance for you can be instead the decision to take the higher road because for you the connection is over, death card. It's like you want to put an end to the struggles, five of wands. You can be super clear, queen of swords, your person can push for multiple conversations, knight of swords. It's like you can grant in their favor one chance to talk, but then high priestess, cold shoulder, even silent treatment because the Six of Swords can be about crickets. Come together. Your person wants this. They want to be with you again. I do not feel that uh, it can be the same for you. Balancing Act, which is the Temperance. Field of Dreams. And Dragon's Lair, which can be something that is not in favor of this connection, like a menace, you know? A pattern that is not positive. Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. Makes sense. Growth, change, liberation, transition. Bottom of the deck, the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. One-sided relationship can be a meaningful keyword, guys, because the focus on the emperor can be something like my way or the highway. And so, considering also the king of pentacles, maybe you are dealing or you are still dealing with a partner that kinda thinks to have the upper end when it comes to the connection and it seems that some of you can be fed up with that enough is enough so let's find out more let's see the five of cups for your person regrets disappointments touch of sadness trip down memory lane because of course your person might want to avoid a breakup or a separation seven of wands they want to avoid the ending they can try to resist it it can be an energy about stubbornness also uh, guys four of pentacles another one they are holding on to the connection for their life, but at the same time, it's like they can only think about themselves. Three of Swords. They know that things um, were not going uh, positively between the two of you. The connection uh, was not great. And now they are trying to save it, but it seems super difficult, guys. 
the Knight of Swords can even become an energy about harsh words, so discussions. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles, because it is a mindset, so what is this person willing to bring to the table? In order to justify, let's say, the decision to try again. Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, they do not want to be single, this is fair to say, but if there was whatever type of shenanigan or betrayal involved, um, this person is truly dreaming. They are naive. They think that they can get something out of this situation because they can be in quite a position, King of Pentacles, Emperor, but because the Emperor can also speak to you, you can truly um, end this connection without looking back. Let's see your point of view. Five of Wands, turmoil, inner conflict, there is something that you do not like when it comes to your person or when it comes to the alchemy between the two of you. Oh, loud shuffle. Here we go. Five of Swords. Uh, your person is the bearer of the Three of Swords energy. Ego driven one. The Five of Swords as a vibration. And so you can become the people that can leave the men in green and red behind. Ten of Swords. It can be over, guys. And the High Priestess. Recurrent energy. So for some of you, this is an intuitively guided decision the one to end this connection because it is just a source of struggles and it's like you cannot tolerate it anymore. Let's see the Queen of Swords. She can swing the Ace with grace and comfort, but it's like some of you are going to say something to your person that they are not going to like. And it can be the verdict that can set you free. King of Swords, match for the Queen, the two of you can be extremely intelligent people, this is fair to say, Seven of Pentacles, Time Factor, the connection stopped working a while ago, now guys, there can be a Time Factor, but the sooner you speak up, the sooner you can break free from this connection. This person works in a way that can be described um, like they are on their own, you know, the Nine of Pentacles energy, the single lady. It's like the connection is truly a one-sided one, one-sided relationship. Your person thinks that they have the upper end, but it seems that some of you can surprise them big time. So in the meeting, guys, I am curious about the Page of Wands, teeny tiny bit of passion, because it is fair to say that your person can try to please you, to charm you, in order to uh, make you feel important, but you are important. The problem is that uh, they didn't do enough in favor of the connection before. That's why we are facing um, these crossroads, because it is a crossroads. The connection can be over, and the outcome can follow a decision. Your decision, I would say, because the death card can be an energy that comes from within. So let's see the page. Tower. And the Ace of Wands. They can try to seduce you. And this can even uh, facilitate the tower moment. So let's see the Six of Swords, guys. A desire when it comes to the opportunity to leave rough waters behind. The rough waters are basically the connection, guys, for some of you. Major struggle, your person can be quite a character, not necessarily in a positive way. There can be a desire to leave the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords combination of energies behind. So this is like one final conversation, even if this person pushes for more, and then off we go, following the full. 
the magician is going to be uh, paired up with the emperor, the moment of action that can interrupt the seven of pentacles standby. Queen of wands, a healthy self-confidence in your favor, guys. Your person can be uh, super passionate about you. They want you when it comes to the sexual side of your connection, but it's not everything, you know. The lovers, here we go. And the ace of cups. This is a choice for love, guys. These energies are amazing, but they are not in favor of this connection. I am sorry. Um, this is going away, the connection. Why? Because if some of you are kind of dreaming about a Ten of Pentacles a situation, legacy, a family picture, a commitment that can be trusted at the 100%, this connection is falling short. And if your person now tries to save it, um, it's because they can realize that they were not doing enough in favor of it. You can be already aware of the problems that uh, were involved in the connection. That's why for you, the lover's crossroads can be completely different from the one that your person can try to manifest because they want you in an ace of wands come together um, type of way, you know. Instead, for you, this can be a, a decision from the heart. So ace of cups, lovers, combination of energies, the magician, can allow you guys to manifest a revolutionary change, the death card, in order to hit the road, the fall, so that you can pursue elsewhere the type of fulfillment that this connection was not able to offer in your favor. So, the tower can even be the tower that we see in the Dragon's Lair Oracle card, guys. Um, the tower started to shake um, a while ago. This is the point. And it was because of a pattern that can be associated to the keywords self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship from the golden mirror oracle card. Your person can be kind of uh, set up for a rude awakening because they can lose you. Uh, they had the connection with you. They didn't honor it, now they are going to pay a price for that. For some of you, this can be a lucky break, guys. I know that the tower can be a, a difficult energy to handle because we are still looking at a, a separation, a breakup, you know? It seems the best possible thing for you because it can be a blessing in disguise. You can find better your person had a fair chance. They couldn't uh, make that count, you know? And that's why you can go away. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.